So I have in front of me the receiver uh, block from the Nova Vista Liberty in 22, and I was able to pull out the regulator, as you see here, along with the poppet spring, hammer spring, the uh, power adjuster wheel, and the regulator adjuster wheel, as you see right there, okay? So what I wanna do is I'm currently getting about 910 feet per second with uh, a H&N Barracuda Match 21.14 grain pellet. Now what I'm thinking is I have already added one tenth of an inch shim to the hammer spring and I've also turned the uh, regulator wheel half a turn. Now, what I wanna do is open up the transfer ports. Now, let me give you a little bit of information what I found out. Here is the power adjuster wheel. This is actually, okay, so this fits nice and tight in there. And this is 1164s or five and a half 32s. And I'm gonna to try to keep everything at um, 30 seconds, okay? This way I have something to show you with the barrel transfer port and the transfer port from the valve, all right? So we're here at five, uh, 1164s. <clears throat> if I, these kids are killing me. If I pass this down into, hopefully, let's see if you can see that. I, this fits, the 1164s goes all the way down into the valve. Now, here I have, this is a 3 16th or 632s. If I try to pass that in, it goes almost, let's see, I don't know if you see that in there. I'm gonna keep moving so you see it. See that little bit in there? Let's see, there's the bit. It's actually almost, it's hitting, it, it's, it's in the valve. So the valve is about thir uh, 3 16th. So where's the bottleneck? The bottleneck is coming right now. There are two, two places I see a bottleneck. It's the barrel port, transfer port. Look, that doesn't even fit. The barrel transfer port is actually 532s, and that's a tight fit, okay? So that's definitely the first bottleneck. This can easily be opened up to 316s, okay? So I'm thinking we can go another 30 second and open it up about a 30 second of an inch. The same thing for the transfer port, uh, the power uh, adjuster you know, wheel here. That fits fine, but we can easily, so what doesn't fit is the 1164s, eh, it fits. So we're gonna open this up a bit and go to uh, 3 16 as well. So that doesn't fit, no matter what I do. Now there's enough meat on, on this power adjuster wheel here. Let's see, I don't know if you see it. There's enough meat in there that I could use this. So I'm thinking we're gonna get some gains in efficiency by opening up, the barrel port is gonna be the largest efficiency, okay? Because that's the smallest, that's the bottleneck. The other bottleneck is then the power adjuster wheel, okay? So we open those two up to 3 16 and then just for sake of cleaning it up, we'll pass the 3 16 into the valve port, down, down here into the block, down the valve port, we'll open it up a little bit. I can see it's just a little, it, it goes, but not all the way. So I think it needs a little bit of a cleanup in there. Um, I'm hoping I'll leave everything the way it is, but my goal is to open up the transfer port, possibly pull the regulator back. So I just did a shot string, uh, and that shot string revealed that I am, this regulator is currently set at about 26, 2700 PSI. I'd like, that's a lot. I really would like to pull that back a little bit. 27 PSI, 2700 PSI is a lot. So I'm thinking if we open up the ports, and then lower the reg wheel a little bit, maybe even take one of the shims out of the hammer spring here, and hopefully we'll keep the velocity and get more shots. I got about 42 shots with a 31 extreme spread, or 44 shots with a 41 extreme spread. Um, not bad, but I think this gun is capable, and that was from 4,000 PSI fill down to about 26, 2700 uh, uh, PSI. So, 
Anyway, hopefully this will give us some more power or efficiency or both. It's focused and you're seeing that it's at 4,000 PSI. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, first magazine. Okay, so after 30 shots, pretty consistent. Let's see where we are. Ooh, it's cold. See that? 30 shots. After 30 shots, we are at 3,000 PSI. We've used 1,000 PSI for 30 shots at this kind of power. Here we go with clip no magazine number four. So that is four magazines. And we are at about 2,700, 2,750 uh, PSI. Hopefully you're seeing that. Yeah, we're starting to fall off the reg. So that tells me that the regulator is probably set to about 2,500 PSI. All right, so here is a picture of the manometer. After 45 shots, we are at uh, 2,600 PSI. And uh, that tells me where the reg is, you know, fell off just around there. So 26, 27. Um, so it's set pretty high and we got 45 shots. The extreme spread right now is about 46, but if we eliminate maybe five shots, that extreme spread goes down quite a bit. So at this point, I have drilled out the barrel port, the power adjuster, and the transfer port inside the block to 3 16 Basically, I've made it 1 32nd larger. Here it is. Let's see, maybe you can see this over here on this camera. This is my 3 16 bit. Okay, now fits loosely, and I sanded it to make it nice and smooth, no, no rough edges. The barrel port, here is the barrel port. Let's see, seeing it there. Okay, fits in there, nice and smooth. Yep, straight. Okay, and I've sanded all burr, all the you know the burrs and the and the edges there. And lastly, the now I went in through this top. Just so you know, what I did was I drilled through the top. There's three holes, three screws. This is the biggest one. Um, this is pretty much the limitation is three sixteenths because if I go to the next bit. Uh, which is <clears throat> 1364s, it doesn't fit. I'm gonna start now to, to drill out the, th the threads that hold the bolt. Now, 
uh, hold this little uh, grub screw. Now it may not matter because you have these two grub screws. So if you wanted to open up beyond what I've just done, which is 3 16 basically a 32nd of an inch more, and I go to 11 64s, it's not gonna happen. Wait, is this 11 64s? Hold, I'm sorry, 13 64s, which would be another uh, six and a half uh, 32s. Yeah, so this would be a half of a 32, uh, a 32nd larger. Um, you'd have to wear away the threads, you know, grind away the threads up here at the top. So I'm not gonna do that for now. I'm pretty happy. It looks nice and opened. I'm hoping this is gonna give us some more efficiencies. So what I'm gonna do is put this all back together. I'll do it on camera, fill up the gun, do another shot string, and let's see. I'm not changing. I am not going, right now, I am not changing the regulator or the hammer spring because I want to see from the current shot spring that I just shot spring that I just did what the difference is. So I'm going to put this all back together. I just told you that I was going to do a shot string and not adjusting the uh, regulator. Well, I did something a little different. Let me explain. So when I first, the first video I did on the ATI, I reported that I was doing, and, and let's use the H&N Barracuda 21.14 as a benchmark. We won't talk about other pellets, just this so you have an understanding of how adjusting the ports, uh, shimming the spring, and uh, adjusting the regulator uh, work to change the velocity. So I first reported that it was the 21s were doing 940, 950 half turn, five shims, that includes the 2.05 for one tenth of an inch plus the three factory shims and no drilling of the ports, just the way it were. What happened was after about a few day, a day or two, it dropped from the 940, 950 I was telling you to the 910. So the shot string you just saw was that. Uh, the 910, roughly 900, 910 velocity. Then what I did was to leave the half turn on the reg, five shims, but I drilled out the ports. What that did with the H&N's uh, Barracuda match was bring them up to about 935. So we did get a little gain. That was good. But I didn't want to do a shot string with that because I thought that's still too much power. What I wanted was the Barracudas shooting about 900 feet per second. How I got there, I turned the reg back about an eighth, so we're about three eighths of a turn, uh, about the two o'clock position. Four shims, I took one of the factory shims out, so I have two of mine, which is the 0.05s to make 0.1, plus two of the factory shims, which are roughly 0 0.015, uh, and we drilled out the ports. And what that did was, that got me to about 890, 900 feet per second. So after you see this shot string uh, shooting around 890, 900, I wanted a little, it was kind of like more in the 880s to 900 and wasn't really, it was a little low. So I made a slight turn on the reg about, I'd say three eighths plus. So about the one o'clock position. So I started at the six o'clock position and I turned it to the 12 o'clock position originally. Then I turned it back to the two o'clock position and that was better with four shims. Now I turned it up just a little bit to the one o'clock position with four shims and the gun is shooting the 21 H&M Barracuda match at a consistent 9.05 to 9.15, around there, about 9.10. And that's where I like the gun. So <laughs> I went through a bunch of changes. Uh, but hopefully this helps you in making your adjustments if you're going to drill out the ports, if you're going to shim the hammer spring or make adjustments on the regulator. Now every gun is different, your mileage may vary, but you'll probably figure out, you know, that this should be, hopefully the guns are all coming roughly the same way and these adjustments could work for you as well.